And this is what Peter was quoting. They had this principle lying down and, and they thought it was pretty good. But they said, you should forgive somebody up to seven times. Okay? So that's what the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees, they believed. Like if someone had come and did something to you, if you forgave them seven times, you were a righteous person. You could wear it as a badge of honor. Okay? You could stand up and say, yeah, I forgave this person over and over again. But the limit was seven. Now, so when Peter is just telling this to Jesus, he's saying, yeah, should I forgive them seven times? Like, raising the bar. Because let's, be, let's be honest. Would any of us in here be willing to forgive someone more than once? I hope so. <laughs> That's good. What about twice? Right? What about three times? What about four times? The fact is, in order to look at this, we have to get a better understanding of what forgiveness actually is. Because if you actually if you look at it through your own mindset and you look at it through your, your own gauge, forgiving someone, even as Jesus says 490 times, and, and he's not literally saying 490 times. In the Old Testament, any time they use the multiplication word, it pretty much meant infinite. Okay? They didn't carry around calculators. They didn't do this. Like it wasn't like, oh, it's not seven times seven. No. For them, if you said 70 times seven, most of them would not know the answer to that. So they would just assume it was infinite. Okay? So when Jesus is talking about it in this context, 